So we're following a pride of lions called the Kambula pride. We've just been sitting with them on the open plains. They were sleeping and being primarily nocturnal creatures, they've just got active now. A lot of head rubbing, a lot of um, yawning and grooming that starts the whole process off. Now they're on the move. We've got a spotlight on them at the moment, but the spotlight is very undistracting to them. Their eyes are far more able to adjust to light than what ours are. And should they get into a situation where there's more of a hunting situation, we'll switch off the light to level the playing fields between everything and wait in the dark for something to happen. But while they're just moving along like this, it's an amazing feeling just following these things. They are, uh, it's a nice big pride of lions. Um, how many are there, Matt? I think we counted nine. Nine, nine individuals that we've got here. Nine individuals moving along here. I mean, it's quite spectacular to be in such close proximity to such incredible creatures. So we just watched those those lines that we were, that Rich was talking about a little bit earlier get active. Um, they play a little bit in the sun in the setting sun, and then we followed them through to another open plain. So the zebra were coming from sort of this direction. The lines were facing here, but the wind was blowing straight over their back. So they probably had some thought of, well, this is not going to work. So they went to the next open plain, came through, it's kind of spread out, and we we sat. There was another vehicle with us, sat on the other side on either end of this open plain. There was a herd of wildebeest as well as a herd of zebra and some impala and one lone waterbuck. And um, so we switched all the lights off and just sat there for about 15, 20 minutes just trying to figure out and listen what was here, or what was going on. And then all of a sudden it was just this rush and these hooves clattering all around us everywhere. Two male lions ran straight past the vehicle after the herd of wildebeest. Um, and the herd of zebra. Is that a lion? Yeah. Yep. Well. Is that a lion? Yeah, yeah. two lions there. Um, and actually separated a small young foal from um, the rest of the herd. So you've got this zebra foal here and uh, and all of the lions had been able to encircle it. Yeah, I think the they missed, but there's one, one front of coming, so I'm just going to stand by you and see what happens. Yeah, there's my daughter running towards you now. And then over in the distance, the, uh, the, re the herd of zebra was calling, so you heard the mother frantically calling back at the foal. And luckily, it just kind of maybe through fortuitous thinking, closed its eyes and just ran back to its mother and got away. Ah, right? The baby zebra did it, baby. Another day. Where did he go? Yeah. So the foal was saved, um, but then the lions honed in on that water buck and they missed that as well. Um, and then as that was kind of unfolding over in the distance on either side of us, to the south there were some male lions roaring into the north, there were some other lions which we're not quite sure of um, who they were, but to the south is the four sort of dominant males that are in this area who uh, yesterday morning were coming um, sort of east and then northeast from the southern and southwestern part of the reserve. So who knows, tomorrow when we go back in the morning, we could find a whole bunch of lions together because they were the males were roaring in the south and then the rest of the other lions were roaring in the north with this pride that we'd been following um, for the evening in the middle. So fingers crossed we, we get something tomorrow morning.